Well, the Alabama women's wheelchair basketball team will play for the national championship. They cruised to victory today, beating Dallas 75 to 39. Sports director Gary Harris is with the Tide in Denver. He joins us now live on the telephone. And Gary, Bama put this one in cruise control early today. Uh, they really did, John. But first, uh, a note, a weather note. Wes White, if he's listening, will get a kick out of this. When the team arrived on Tuesday, they were great, greeted by six inches of new snow on the ground. Today, 70 degrees and sunny. They say that's just typical Denver, Colorado. But, yeah, as far as the game is concerned, a lot of pressure on this Alabama team. The defending national champions, they haven't lost a game to a women's team in two years. Their only losses the last two years have come to men's teams. They're the number one seed, this morning playing the number two seed, a team sponsored by the NBA's Dallas Mavericks. So they're well-equipped. They've got some really good players. Dallas led 2 to nothing, but after that it was all Alabama. The Crimson Tide went on a 41-10 to run. To lead 41-12, they wound up leading 53-16 at the half. And as you said, Coach Brent Harden just put it in cruise control in the second half, cleared the bench. Alabama winds up winning at 75-39. to Now, Dallas played the University of Illinois this afternoon in the loser's bracket game to play Alabama for the national championship tomorrow. Illinois wins that one. Illinois and Alabama tomorrow morning at 11.30 Mountain Time for the national championship. Interesting note, Alabama beat Illinois for the national championship last year. Two years ago, the University of Illinois beat Alabama for the national championship, so the University of Illinois is the last women's team to beat the Tide. But I'm telling you, I was impressed this morning with Alabama. They put the full-court press on Dallas and never let them breathe. Alabama going for a second consecutive national championship. Tomorrow, I'm here. I'll have it covered for you. John? Well, the Alabama women's wheelchair basketball team will play for the national championship. The Tide cruised to victory today, beating Dallas 75-39. to Sports Director Gary Harris is with the Tide in Denver. He joins us now live on the telephone. And Gary, bring us up to speed on the Tide's game today and their game on Saturday when they'll be playing for that national championship. Thank you, John. Beautiful weather here in Denver this afternoon. 70 degrees and clear skies. And for the third consecutive year, the University of Alabama will face the University of Illinois for the Women's Open Division National Championship. That game slated for tomorrow morning at 11.30 Mountain Time. That's 12.30 Central there in Alabama. Now, the Crimson Tide has roared through this tournament. They really have not been tested. In the quarterfinal round yesterday, they knocked off Illinois by 24. And then today in the semifinals, they destroyed a club team sponsored by the Dallas Mavericks of the NBA, 75-39. They led that game remarkably. 53-16 to 16 at the half. Now, the history between Alabama and Illinois, as I mentioned, is great. Illinois is the premier program in the history of women's college basketball. Alabama has kind of taken over as the number one program in the last couple of years. The last team to beat Alabama, women's team to beat Alabama, was Illinois two years ago in the national championship. Alabama returned the favor last year, defeating the Illini. Alabama has not lost a game to a women's team in the last two years. The only teams to beat Alabama have been men's teams. So the Crimson Tide, no doubt the favorite, but this is going to be a great game tomorrow morning at 11.30. Alabama versus Illinois, the Crimson Tide trying to go back-to-back. -back. You know how hard that is to do to win national championships two consecutive years and two perfect seasons. I guess you could call Alabama right now the UConn of women's wheelchair college basketball. I'll be here. I'll have it covered for you, and hopefully we'll be bringing back a national championship. Reporting live in Denver, Colorado, with the Alabama women's wheelchair basketball team, I'm Gary Harris. John, back to you in the studio. Well, the Alabama women's wheelchair basketball team returned home this weekend from Denver, Colorado, with a second consecutive national championship. Bama dominated the tournament winning their three games by an average of 30 points. WBUA sports director Gary Harris was with the team, and he has the story. Beautiful, but it was perfect. If you're a sports fan, you probably know that the University of Connecticut has won 78 consecutive games and two straight national championships. But what you probably don't know is that there is another women's basketball team building its own dynasty at the University of Alabama. Over the last two seasons, the University of Alabama women's wheelchair basketball team, under the direction of head coach Brent Harden and his staff, have not lost a game to another women's squad. Their only loss is coming to men's teams. And on Saturday in Denver, Colorado, the Crimson Tide won its second consecutive national championship, overwhelming the University of Illinois 66 to 36. There's always pressure. We put a lot of pressure on ourselves. We wanted to come out and play our game, and I think we definitely did that in the first half. We came out hard and 
really took it to them, and that's what we wanted to do, and that's really all we could worry about was our game. Well, we got great players, I know that. We got really great players. I hadn't started thinking about next year yet, <laughs> kind of enjoying this. We're losing three really great players that are graduating, um, but, uh, you know, Alabama's a great place to be, and good players want to come and be there. As long as we keep getting good players, we're going to have good basketball teams. Alabama and Illinois were meeting in the national title game for the third consecutive year, and the Illini were the last women's team to topple the tide two years ago in the national championship game. But on Saturday, UA never let Illinois breathe. Behind tournament MVP Janet McLaughlin's 26 first half points, the tide sprinted out to a 40 to 12 halftime lead and cruised to the victory. Yeah, they had a great first half. I think, talk to the coaches, I think that's the best first half we've had all year long. Uh, they were motivated. They knew they were the best team, but they also knew they had to go out and play basketball. And they were also motivated by the fact that they wanted all their teammates to play. So the starters decided they're going to go in and take care of business so they can get their teammates in. It feels great. It feels awesome. And it's my first championship in the wheelchair, and I love it. Winning when everyone expects you to. It's a challenge. But it's a challenge that this Alabama women's basketball team lived up to, winning a second consecutive national championship. And after being out here in Denver and watching this team perform, I have no reason to believe they won't make it three in a row next year. With the Alabama women's wheelchair basketball team in Denver, Colorado, I'm Gary Harris, WVUA Sports.